I really don't like to use this thing. <laughs> because because in that case, uh, in I would just speak louder. Yeah, no, it's sure for, for sure because oh, the has a mic, but probably it's not, uh, you have to start again.
have an iPod, and hence uh, uh, will have like uh, say uh, their ears in pristine condition, <laughs> uh, and they will have no trouble, you know, um, like finding out what I'm saying. Huh? You have to turn on the mic. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like a freak with all this. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah. Um, so, um, how do we do this? Or how do we um, reason over, um, say, the um, <coughs> conceptual model? Um, well, basically, um, we adapt you know, the um, well known uh, certain answer semantics you know, of incomplete databases to this setting. Uh, which, of course, will make uh, query answering harder mm -hmm. because it's going to become a kind of uh, logical entailment you know, instead of, uh, say, um, the evaluation for plain relational databases, mm -hmm. query evaluation, you know, which in the end boils down to uh, first order logic find model uh, checking, which is a very easy problem yeah, in that case. And uh, well, this is just the standard definition. So certain, the certain answers of uh, union projective queries Q over ontology DO is defined as, uh, say, um, the um, intersection of the answers of that query over all, say, the models of, uh, of your ontology. And, uh, um, there are, as you can see, three inputs to consider, and uh, um, it is um, well um, traditional to um, well, split uh, the decision problem no, um, according to these parameters no, into several sub problems, um, of which the first is the most important. No? And the first is when you consider database B as the only input. Uh, this is okay. Data complexity. If you consider Q as only input, you get query complexity. If you consider um, the terminology as only input, uh, you get C complexity. Um, and if you consider all the inputs, okay, you speak about compiled complexity. Mm -hmm. Associated decision problem that we use to study computational complexity is known as the query answering problem, uh, in which what you do is uh, you fix a tuple. Mm -hmm. You don't want to compute uh, all the answers. You fix a number, you fix uh, a certain tuple, and then you check whether it is an answer or not. No. That way you get a decision problem. And, uh, okay. We go again to this uh, um, um, desire here. So the idea is that um, with these certain answers, no, we can now reason over uh, the data source, the ontology, and the query, no, all taken together, huh? because it's uh, first order logic uh, entailment. You can consider the ontology based data the system as a knowledge base, as a logical theory, mm -hmm. the query is a formula, and the uh, query answering is just uh, checking whether um, the query is entailed by um, the terminology and uh, the data. So let's see an example of uh, how this works. Um, we have the same schema. And uh, now the tables in the database may be incompletely specified or even missing you know, for some classes properties. As you can see here, I just have set inclusion of no? uh, search and read are managers. Uh, but um, the fact that in my database, uh, set is a manager and read is a manager doesn't exclude uh, the possibility of there being in many other models no other guys there. I don't know. Uh, Sarkozy, whatever. Um, and uh, suppose we want to ask uh, for all the employees. Uh, um, let's go back to the previous example. 
because maybe you will miss a little bit the point. So, um, Description logics, well, naturally, um, query answering is going to be very hard. And uh, um, it is, uh, well, <laughs> so this is the, this is the, the, the column um, uh, you should focus on data complexity. You know? Data complexity is uh, it's very high, you know? it's uh, uh, exponential. So in all cases, we get going to be uh, hard uh, uh, data complexity. Um, even for, I mean, for all the logics we have seen here, no? uh, first order logic, uh, uh, two variable first order logic with non quantifiers, garden two variable fragment, uh, first order logic with non quantifiers, um, ALCI, uh, there is a type of here, ALC uh, UI. And uh, um, also for what would be the whole life and all the L fragments of uh, all uh, one point one. So you wouldn't think H there or H? Uh, in the same uh, one. You say that it's not H. It's U. What? The H. And the two one here. Uh oh. <laughs> it's <laughs> the remote control. It's, 
I need to fix it. Sorry. Um, I must have pressed the wrong button. Um, I'm going to put it here. The agent. The agent. Uh, the agent. It stands for. Um, Roll hierarchy. Yes. Uh, uh, Roll hierarchy. Yes. Roll yes. So um, you want uh, to say uh, that uh, you know. Uh, an association, no, uh, it's uh, um, a specialization or a generalization of uh, another association. Oh, so this again? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, um, you're still in the current variable fragment for solar logic, so this is not, mm -hmm. uh, um, it doesn't uh, um, say you have a big impact on computation complexity. Huh? Because, I mean, all these results uh, go up to what basically here. Uh, what is important to to, uh, to, uh, to observe here is that I put in the table uh, these DL plus uh, queries. What is a DL plus queries? Well, it's basically uh, uh, a query of this ontology language without uh, negation. So uh, you have intersection of concepts and uh, you have uh, existential modification, but no more. And you also can have like unions and stuff like that. Huh? Um, so it's, uh, let's say, a uh, uh, description of the concept that is included, say, the positive existential trap in the first order, you know? uh, the intersection between um, this ontology language and objective theories. Uh, why do I say this? Because it turns out that when you consider arbitrary conjunctive queries or um, forget about count just for um, GF2 mm -hmm. because the result holds for um, the uh, guard to barrel fractal for solar logic. Mm -hmm. If you consider arbitrary conjunctive queries, um, you um, get undecidability. So there is this result by uh, Ian Pratt. 2009, so he basically uh, um, um, defines a reduction from uh, about the daily problem. Um, so the idea is that, uh, um, so you, you, you remember a little bit the daily problems, no? you have this grid and uh, um, I mean, in the room, yeah. Yeah. so uh, basically it's the grid that allows you, you know, to uh, uh, to call the, um, the problem, mm -hmm. to uh, basically um, state uh, that the grid is closed to the, uh, this closure condition of the grid. Mm -hmm. but that is the kind of the result that we, we will have a difference between the, the assumption when you have finite noise or, or unrestricted. For, for example, for that, that unrestrictability result, I think that you are considering this, this unrestricted. Key. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't remember um, uh, which is the result for saying uh, just uh, uh, find, 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 find the modes. Um, uh, so in this case, uh, we just consider, uh, we're just considering, uh, actually, wait, I don't remember. I mean, this paper here, uh, he also studies the uh, so he, he studies query answering and he studies fine query answering, huh? where uh, you consider uh, fine modes. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember uh, the complexity result. I think it's decided in that case, probably, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter because if there is a time limit, uh -huh. uh, if there is a time limit, the, the input case in this case can always be used to the final case because if there is a time limit, there is a periodic time. So you only need to, to die a part of the of the of the grid and then you put the rest. Oh. Are you sure? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Because I've seen okay. I've seen this kind of thing. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You have the bounded tiling problem and you have the bounded tiling problem. So bounded tiling problems are for proving something like a to its hardness and no, these no, kind of things. I'm talking about, uh, here I'm talking about tiling of the whole uh, set time set, right? Okay. There is, um, yeah. 
So I, I'm not completely sure. So I mean, <laughs> no, because uh, you 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 rang a bell and um, he uses also dialings for proving the it's final. Different because query. when you want to prove XP hard, XP space mm hardness, -hmm. for instance, you are given an end and you want to check whether there exists a tiling of two to the eight times n for some k. Uh -huh. And this is different. You want to check whether some part of set time set okay. is is tiling. And this and this holds uh, also for uh, a finite subset of yeah. set time set. That, that is what I remember. I'm not completely sure. Yes, I mean, there can be finite, finite and infinite subset. Yeah, yeah. At least I remember something. That is valuable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, yeah. I, I didn't look so much into the proof, but you remind you remind. But I mean. Going back to the question regarding um, uh, finite query answering, uh, yeah, I think that in that case uh, it is decidable and the hardness is um, perhaps proven using, I think, one of these bounded tiling problems. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so sure about it. I mean, you, uh, it would be better to check the paper. But my memory uh, shouldn't be trusted. So, uh, <laughs> well, this uh, doesn't look very good, right? So, if you have a relational database, no, uh, that uh, K will uh, return you an answer uh, using the word in space. Um, uh, here, you have something that takes exponential time. Well, you're going to you know, blow up pre answering you know, uh, <laughs> um, almost immediately. Uh, so, what can you do? Uh, Basically, uh, realize you know, uh, this uh, goal that we have uh, to exploit the conceptual models you now at query time. Well, basically, you have to find a trade off, no? Um, a trade off between, say, expressivity and good computational properties. <laughs> no? So, you need to find somehow the optimal uh, fragment of ALCI no? for which um, query answering. Uh, um, over um, incomplete information is uh, tractable. So mm -hmm. at most, uh, um, uh, p time in data complexity. Mm -hmm. And that's the cool idea of uh, DLite. Mm -hmm. So uh, DLite, uh, okay, there are f this is a, in general a family of the scripture logics. So this is the base case. Um, what is known as uh, the light core, and uh, they are optimized for data access. And uh, as you can see, the syntax is obtained by restricting the syntax we saw before. How? Uh, by splitting the definition of concepts into, uh, say, uh, perhaps write something here. Ah, well, it's it's here what can be said, uh, say, to the right-hand side and to the left-hand side of the inclusion. Um, so, um, uh, there is a, yeah, there is a mistake here because uh, I forgot to add. Assertion. Mm -hmm. 
as well as the conjunction and uh, existential modification, which is, however, not a primitive concept actually you can eliminate uh, if you have uh, this um, um, kind of uh, role hierarchies. And of course, uh, left concepts can also occur to the right. Does this uh, ring a bell to you? Uh, does, it, does this look familiar from the point of view of, uh, say, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, logic databases? Because actually, uh, the idea is that you get something that is horned. Huh? So this, this, this intersects with uh, the horn problem for slow logic. Huh? Huh? Because you know, uh, this is like the, uh, this would be the body of the root, and this would be the head. Huh? And negation, uh, so there's going to be, uh, say, uh, at most uh, one positive atom in, 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 the, in, in the assertions. So the 
Denise. So they. <laughs> So the, the idea is that okay, you have your you have a query <laughs> with, with n atoms, no, and then you have an ontology with uh, with say k uh, k axioms, no, and uh, you have to somehow uh, check whether you know those atoms match you know the concepts in the assertions. Um, so okay, um, you have like k choices, right, uh, over n atoms. So that gives you this O to the Q um, uh, complexity, broadly speaking. Yeah? And OK, this is um, the idea of the relations. They are based in, in some kind of resolution-based technique and where, OK, you, you, you remember no, uh, resolution no, from logic programming and for sort of logic. No, there are two main rules. One is this resolution rule, no? The resolution principle, no Robinson, and then you have the uh, con contraction. Sorry, what, what does that notation mean? The Q square brackets is for what, what does uh, Maybe I should explain a little bit here. Okay. So it's something that. Um, it means that the query may I'm just using the notation that you use here. So this stands for, for an existential. No, 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 no but, but the query does this. Q with square brackets with this uh, here. Yeah, yeah. So okay, here, what I mean is that there is a query Q that contains uh, oh, okay, these atoms, atoms here. No, okay. in this case, these are going to be different atoms. Okay. Why? Because this is, you know, uh, an existentially quantified variable, mm -hmm. so to speak, and this is an R1. Yeah, okay. They need yeah. to be the same. They can be different. Huh? And it is that this unifies the knowledge. The algorithm, no, this rule, no, okay, um, um, gives you this as well, no, it um, collapses uh, both atoms, not in one, because I mean, they, they, they are syntactically different, but their meaning is the same, right? That's uh, the same justification, the soundness of this, of this rule. This is just a plain contraction, huh? Uh, the idea is that you have some kind of, uh, you know, of and you are a most general unifier that unifies those atoms. And uh, then there is a resolution rule. Huh? That this is important to know. It's not, uh, uh, so you have, so this F here means that it can be any concept whatsoever, no? But for the resolution rule, uh, it's important to know that uh, what you unify is uh, uh, a concept you know, to the right hand side of uh, subsumption mm -hmm. with uh, you know uh, some atom in or um, distance not really for an atom but for some kind of complex uh, synthetic concept you know, of your query. Huh? There might be some existentially bound variables. Huh? This yeah, it seems like okay. The resolution, okay, think about resolution, it seems to be the other way, but what you're trying to say there is that if I try to answer the query, if I try to find that, uh, to prove that uh, I have C of R of C, yeah, one way to prove it is that by proving that I have C of I of C, right? That's what you're saying there, right? It's something like that, you see? No, but this, I mean, if you think about this as resolution, that's not the way that you do it, actually, right? In which sense? Uh, the, the proposition of, for example, resolution. Uh, maybe the notation is not very easy. Yeah, yeah. Very, so the thing is that, like, if you think about like this is like C of I implies C of R, uh -huh. and then the resolution, when you have C of I, then you can talk about C of R. So That's the way the resolution weighs. It works. Like, 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 no, yeah, but the thing is that, yeah, you're trying to prove that you have C of R of C, and one way to do it is to prove that you have C of I of C, right? If you prove that, then you will have, since C of I is included in C of R, right? Because you're doing query answering. That's what I'm saying. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So the idea is that... Um, but the rule says C of I implies in So I mean, no, no. So, I mean the, the, the idea, the idea this is writing is that, okay... What? Um, oh, that's an L? Yes. Okay, that's the, the idea in this, this writing is that, okay, you start from a query, you know, that is, yes. you know, um, that is, you know, formulated over, say, the signature of the ontology, okay? But as you 
might recall um, in the database, um, okay, there will not be like um, many of these uh, say relations will be empty. Mm -hmm. They will not appear there. No. So the idea here is that you want to basically uh, be able to uh, rewrite rewrite your query in such a way that um, on the extension of predicates, not mm -hmm. for which uh, there are actual instances mm -hmm. in your database. Uh, so you're, but, but you're going to get this like a query that should be like a human of a large number of queries, right? Because exactly, you have like exactly, all exactly. possibilities, like, okay, it's going to be like C of R, C is in C of R, or if it's not there, one alternative is to prove that it's in C of yeah, R, yeah. right? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, just, uh, there is some kind of fixed point of computation. Yeah. You just compute everything, not like this. Um, yeah, it's basically what you say, yes. Mm -hmm. All the possibilities no, in, in this step here, no? Whenever, 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 whenever you unify, you just, you know, uh, add, uh, you know, uh, the result uh, known to, uh, to the current query, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the end you get a query that is exponentially large. Mm -hmm. However, the point is that, okay, this is done independently from the data, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is pre-processing. Yeah. So it doesn't affect data complexity. It's independent from the data. So that's why you get this AC0. Uh, yeah. No, it's the same like, like what I was saying. It's like data exchange is exactly the same because you, you can have a query over the target. And you, can, you want mm -hmm. to write a query over the source. Uh -huh. And what you do is you use the, the data exchange system with a bunch of rules, which is fixed. And uh -huh. the query which is also fixed to get you to write that you evaluate directly over the source. Mm -hmm. They're trying to compute again certain answers. And again, what you get is the data complexity is, is AC0 because the query and the uh, rules are fixed, uh -huh. and, and what you get is, again, it's, well, in that case, if you start from a conjunctive query, it's going to be a union of conjunctive queries with uh -huh. conjunctive actually. You get like exponential size of the rule. Yeah, yeah so yes, exactly. I, I, the idea is, is similar, right? I, or I, the approach, right? I, I don't know who came out uh, with <laughs> the idea first. Yeah. I think that's uh, also an open question. But <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you should ask Diego. <laughs> Maybe he will say no, it was me. Maybe some other guys will like no, to say no, it was me. Old. No, sorry. Well, at least that idea I think is very old. Um, yeah, I think it's from Tush, the. Tushka. I mean the. No, it's even. I mean the bull. It's even before that. Chase. I mean, it's no, no, it's from Chase. But from from the I think it's from the nineteen eighties, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It comes, I think, from logic programming, actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Certainly, it's before Diego and, and the people in the education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, maybe mm -hmm. there is a uh, query answering under you. Yeah. And, uh, okay, this is how you yeah. compute the answers. <laughs> no, the okay, but what, okay, but what I was saying is that. I'm not uh -huh. saying that it's exactly the same technique, it's just the idea no, 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 of no, 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 no. Yes. writing actually, which yes. has different flavors actually. So you have uh -huh. to write, and I think that we do it here over this description logic, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Too late the clarification. It's for the clarification for the camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, you, will, you, you will get, uh, you know, both uh, Enrico and Diego uh, <laughs> to answer you that question in person. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully this year or the next. Uh, next uh, year, I think, because mm -hmm. so they will be more than yeah. happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like twenty people. Remember, uh, yeah. yeah. no, no, it's more than five. It's yeah, like twenty, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are we going there as well? <laughs> Yeah, well, are we going? Yeah, they're doing it. Well, I actually have to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have fixed something, but we have to. <laughs> yeah. We have, you have some slots, you know? We have to fill them. Yeah. Dig it, dig it. Let's go. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. And you can run a random algorithm. Yeah. yeah. Something if you are if you are to do that. Well, I mean, this is basically, you know, like, um, putting formal, no, uh, uh, the discussion we had. Uh, so uh, the idea here is that okay, this is based on the notion of canonical models. So you use uh, canonical models and the properties. Uh, so DLite has this canonical model property uh, for chases. Uh, um, a canonical model is a model that more maps into yeah. I, model of uh, your mm -hmm. so 
called universal solution in the big change. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you give yes. chase and it's a uh -huh. solution that has come more into the universe. Exactly, and then you uh, use the fact that uh, conjunctive queries yeah. are positive existential formulas for the logic, which are closed under homomorphisms, you know, uh, to, uh, um, I think, uh, uh, be able to derive uh, the completeness of uh, this uh, writing method. Okay, um, <coughs> why did I say that this is a trade-off? Okay. On the one hand, you saw it's AC series data complex. And on the other hand, it turns out that um, by the way in which it is, or it has been designed and defined, uh, captures um, like the main features of uh, uh, this conceptual uh, uh, model. No? Um, this is again all the entity relationship. Diagram. Um, we, uh, so when you say main, what are you? Well, um, because okay, here you can just capture, for example, this joiners, but you cannot, for example, capture completeness of jerky, um, the covering. You cannot capture, and there is a, some limitation on, say, the cardinality constraints. But you can capture ESA between relations and between associations and. Um, this, uh, the typing of the associations. You cannot express that this joinness. This joinness, yes, but uh, you cannot. But not in the logic that we just showed. But you right. cannot say that. No, you can, you can, you can. How? You can, yeah, yeah. How? Yeah. There, is, can... there is a restricted kind of negation. Wait, wait, wait. I can't no, but I don't think it's enough. Yes. Here. Yeah, but in the left hand side, you just can put. Uh, you say you have to say that something like uh, C1 intersected with C2 is subset of bottom, right? Bottom, yes. This. Uh, yeah, but you cannot. On the left hand side, you cannot write C1 intersected with C2, right? Just. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, but the equivalence, okay. Uh, oh, oh, you can, you can say for atomic concepts, right? No, but this is it, uh, equivalence. You have to put two inclusions, right? You cannot talk about equivalence yeah. here. You okay, wait, 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 wait. This is this is this is this is equivalence at the meta level. I'm not. This is not equivalence at the. At no, no, no. But what I say, what is it? Okay, I want to say that A and B are disjoint. What are you going to write actually in the logic? Okay, what is the formula that you are going to write? A and B are disjoint. Okay. Let's 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 do it on the example. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, okay, I, I got it. A is contained. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Many, many, many other people didn't. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah don't worry, don't worry. So, yeah. okay, area manager, project manager, where is Please this? Stop kicking <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So, 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 by completeness, you are mean what? Uh, I mean that, by completeness, I mean that, um, you cannot capture all of the all all of the say uh, features of entity relationship diagrams, but you can cover you know uh, many of them. Right, but, but can, can you give me an example of what is left out? Um, I don't know. If you say that uh, a manager is either an area manager or a project manager, so that when you want to say that this entity here is partitioned into this two, you cannot say that it is partitioned. But I can say that this is a subset of the other one, and this is. And that they are disjoint. But if you have partition, ah, partition okay. Yeah. But if you have partition, right. then uh, you get uh, actually can't be harnessed. Yeah? Okay. You need the you need the other direction. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. By some simple reduction, uh, from, say for example, I don't know, preset or um, yeah, the thing is that you have, yeah, you have forms, and you add basically anything to form to get uh, the harness in the case of sad actually. You get um, uh, you have, like six cases like right? yes, yes. Yeah. You have this chapter like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, what I'm saying is that if you add anything to hold sub in general, you get something that's not going to be. <laughs> 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 
Porque no iba a dar coma. These assertions, these DLI assertions here, um, they um, they capture exactly these uh, uh, conceptual diagrams. 